the book Dragon Slayer. Hmm. Another beautiful day at the camp park. <laughs> I think I'm in. Well, <laughs> jeez. Uh, better get on my patrol, Lean. La 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 Morning sunlight. The animals seem to be doing all right. Mm, no sign of bear disruption. Good, good. The last thing we need is another uh, yogi imitation incident. Oh, that wasn't pretty. Hmm? Human. Oh, they must be setting, trying to set up their camp. To go help them. <laughs> knock knock. Hey camper. Uh everything okay here? Mm. <laughs> yep. That's me. I'm a Sasquatch. Oh. You brought a cat with you. Huh. Well hi kitty. You're a very pretty kitty, yes you are. Hmm. Oh, I'm I'm not angry. I'm just surprised. Usually, if someone brings their pet with them to the campsites, it's usually like a dog. I've never seen anyone bring their cat to a campsite before. <laughs> What's her name? Oh, her name's October. That's a very good na good name for a pretty kitty like this. Hmm. Is a rule against it? Well, there's not technically a rule that says you can't bring pet cats to the camp park, but usually people just bring dogs, and if they do bring their dogs, they make sure to keep an eye on them. Well, sometimes... There have been cases of the animals wandering off and them getting found by a bigger animal, which is why, you know, you gotta keep an eye on your pet. Um, it should be fine, just try and make sure your cat stays inside your tent, and if you're going to take them out, like, put them on a little harness and leash. That way, your furry friend can stay close, and the both of you can have a good time at the state park. This is, whoa, 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 they are human. <laughs> Mrs. Sasquatch is my mother. My name's Samantha, but you can just call me Sam for short. What's your name? Hmm, that is a very good name. I like it. Well, it's nice to meet you, and it's also nice to meet you too, October. <laughs> so, how do you like the park so far? Is um, your spot to your liking? You seem to have booked the uh, the riverside view. I can't say that I, that I blame you. The water's beautiful here, especially when the sunrise is just starting. It's absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> well, I have been doing this job for 18 years, so I kind of know the whole park like the back of my hand. So, um... What brings you here to, to the Rogue River State Park? Ah, getting away from the big city for a few days, huh? <laughs> I can understand that. The city can be kind of loud and crowded sometimes. It's nice to take a few steps back and submerge yourself in nature again. 
I say that from experience. Um, <laughs> kind of. I have a sister who lives in the city and she does, um, she runs a yoga, a yoga place. You know, yoga, meditation, and stuff like that. She also works a side job at a cafe as a waitress. And sometimes I pay her a visit, you know, to see how how the city life treats her. And she seems to be doing alright for herself. I've, I, I sometimes visit the city on occasion, like to ex explore the shops or whatever, but I feel more at home here at the campsite. Mm hmm I have a little, um, you see that, um, that hill over there? Mm-hmm. The one with the little cottage on it? Um, that's where I live. Yeah, the, one of the, the, the manager of this place um, when I came down here looking for work, said that, um, he'd, he'd pay me wages to work here, honest wages, and I could even live on the property, like, and he told me if I just repaired the, uh, the damage to that one cottage up on that hill, because the cottage technically is part of the, the camp park's, um, territory, as it were, uh, he said if I repaired that, that I could, I could keep the cottage, and that could be my, my home. So, yeah, every morning I wake up, after a nice cup of tea, and some, some toast, some cinnamon toast, I walk down the hill, and I clock in for work. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I think I like this a lot better than the city. Well, I mean... It's very spacious, and it's calm, and it's very cleansing in a way, I suppose. Just get, standing in the middle of the forest and taking a deep breath and just letting all that turmoil and negativity or whatever you're facing just settle and leave. There's something therapeutic about that. I... I've told my sister, like, maybe she could, as part of an event that the state, that the state park hosts, like, maybe she could do some yoga, some yoga lessons for some of the camp goers, like, if they're up for it. Oh. Sounds like, um, some campmates brought their dogs. That, that's a, the kind of sound I'm used to. When I bet when I go down to check the campers, I'm not used to hearing cats. <laughs> but it looks like October has settled herself back into your car, so that's good. Um, it looks like you're in. It looks like you were you're in need of um a little help setting up ca your camp. Am I am I right? I <laughs> I kind of figured. Well, here. Uh, toss me the tent, and I will get that set up for you, and we can get you all lined out over here. How does that sound? All right. Ah, got the tent. Alrighty. I'll get this, uh, set up for you in a jiffy. It shouldn't take too long. Um, why don't you, uh, start, start unpacking, and we'll, we'll work our, work our way in. Well, while I, you unpack, while I work on the tent, okay? Alrighty. <sighs> Alrighty. Your tent is all set up now. You got the chairs out. Okay. There we go. Huh. Your tent's coming along nice. Your, your campsite's coming along nicely. What's this? Are you an artist? Oh, <laughs> I guess October wanted to see how the campsite was going. <laughs> You're a very good artist. Oh. <laughs> Hello again, Miss October. It's nice to see you again. 
I take it our work on the tent is satisfactory and to your liking. <laughs> what a pretty nice kitty. Yeah. Animals are kind of attracted to, to me and my family. I, I suppose it comes with being a Sasquatch. Just being in tune with nature, I guess. But yeah, the dogs, they, I, I heard them. They're on the uh, campsite number 42. So you'll be fine. They shouldn't bother October. How is she with um, dogs, though? Because, I mean, you might cross paths and I don't want her to... Ah, uh, pardon. I don't want her to, you know, freak out or climb up a tree. That'd be really bad, especially since we got some birds who like making their nests up in the trees. And I just want to make sure everyone has a good time here. Campers, pets, and animals included. Mm-hmm. My job here? Well, you know, I make sure the campers are being safe. I make sure that everyone is having a good time and make sure everything's up to snuff. Everyone's following the rules. And I also make sure that the wildlife minds their manners and are on their best behaviors. Mm -hmm. It's kind of why you only see, um, you know, bats and at night and get some crickets, moths. Um, it's also why you only really see birds and chipmunks and maybe the occasional squirrel here. Mm -hmm. I tend to keep the, uh, the bigger, more carnivorous animals away lest they try and cause trouble. Eh. The cougars aren't that bad. Um, the raccoons, raccoons, I have to, you know, put locks on the trash cans because... They are thieving little buggers, and if need be, they will try and dig through the trash cans, which, you know, I can't let that happen. Honestly, it's the bears. The bears are the ones that kind of, you know, stomp down here and try to get some free picnic baskets. Yeah. Oh, it seems October is kneading on your sleeping bag. Well, at least it'll be nice and tender for when uh, you you turn in for the night. <laughs> no, don't worry. The bears, the bears won't stay here. I I made sure to to teach them a lesson so they learned not to you know cause trouble for any of the campers, especially after that Yogi Bear incident. <sighs> that was not pretty. That was very unpleasant and um. Let's just say one of the bears tried to cosplay as Yogi Bear, and, well, yeah, it scared some of our campers, and, um, yeah, needless to say, I had to wrestle that hairy little SOB to get my point across, since they weren't taking a hint that, you know, they're not supposed to be near the campgrounds during hours. When the campground is empty, they usually just stroll on by, but, and for the most part, all the other bears, they know the rules and they behave themselves, though there are some that are just kind of mischievous and like to be a pain in the ass. <sighs> that's, that's another thing I do as a park ranger. Yeah, wrestling bears. It's fun, you know, when it's not... When it's not at the, when it's not, you know, due to a troublemaker, it's fun to wrestle bears. I had a great, great uncle who was the 15 time WWWB champion. Er, oh yeah, I keep getting the letters mixed up. It's the WWBW championship. Mm hmm. Worldwide bear wrestling. <laughs> Do I have a big family? Oh, heck yeah. I have lots of brothers and sisters, and I got nieces and aunts and uncles. They all live really deep in the forest, and, well, let's just say there's a reason why we're, we're experts at hide-and-seek. Alrighty, there we go.
your campsite is all set up. Oh. <laughs> I meant what I said, though. You're a very talented artist. And October has come back. Welcome back, Madam October. I take it the campsite is to your liking. You good kitty. <laughs> but I meant what I said. You are a really talented artist. You should... You should make a living out of that. I think you could. You want to be a, a comic book writer? An artist? Well, you most certainly have the talent for it. I mean it. I mean it. I don't, I, I don't give I don't give out puffed up compliments. When I say something, I genuinely mean it. And I think you could be a great comic book artist if you wanted to. Oh. <laughs> it seems that October is trying to get very cuddly. <laughs> what a good kitty. Hmm? Will I be here all day? Yeah. I I'll just take a nap later today and then I'll be ready to do the uh the night patrol. Mm-hmm. It's one of the perks of being a Sasquatch. I can run on very little sleep and worst case scenario I just have um an a green tea energy smoothie before I I work the uh the night shift. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, speaking of, um, at seven o'clock we have a, a a a bonfire, sort sort of where you know, it's it's kind of like a little party thing. There are icebreakers, um, there's singing, there's storytelling, and also we make s'mores. Have you ever had s'mores? They're really, 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 really super yummy, and they're my favorite sweet in the whole world. Like I know my sister is always raving about parfaits and cheesecakes and apple pie and and pie is good don't get me wrong i love pie but nothing and i mean nothing beats some graham cracker and some chocolate sandwiched and sandwiched in the middle is a perfectly toasted marshmallow all puffed up and golden and mm, uh you make like you make like 40 s'mores you give me a, a gallon of milk Boom, I'm out for the whole evening. <laughs> yeah, I really like s'mores. But um if you uh if you want to uh come, I'll I'll be there, you know, just to sort of monitor and maybe have a few a few drinks of of apple juice or chocolate hot chocolate. We usually have hot chocolate or apple juice sometimes with these parties and yeah, I'd love to get to know you better. Cause you seem like a really, really stand up person. Mm -hmm. Again, I mean it. I don't say things lightly. So, oh, you want to go? Well, great. Um, you um. So you know where registration is. Um, so you go to registration, and you walk past the uh, the fountain, and you make a left, and that's uh, where the bond where the um bonfire bay is quote unquote <laughs> yeah i think it's kind of a silly name but it, it helps people remember where it is yeah well all right then um it was good meeting you and um I, i'll see you there i gotta finish up my patrolling here before i go take my uh my after my afternoon lunch break and my nap so that way I'm all ready to go for tonight's night patrol so yeah human October it was very nice to meet you I'll see you around human